time for me to split, but we have time for a final word from the glamorous Mike Monroe. Mike was in town last week to play a sold out gig at the London Town and Country Club, so we stocked up on powder and hairspray and caught up with him as he was getting ready for the show. And first off, I asked him how he felt about the re-release of Hannah Rock products in the States. I think it's great. I think people should, especially if there's been such a big influence, or if Hannah was such a big influence on all these bands, people should know where it really came from and what the original idea was, you know. Because it was mostly about attitude, not, not only all this. <laughs> well, you know, anybody can put on you know, makeup and, you know, a part of it was, you know, looking good, and, you know, but we never really planned an image or anything. It was real. It was just very honest and, you know, five kids, five individuals and strong, everyone was a strong personality. And we were just being ourselves, just having a good time, you know, not caring about the wicked world. <laughs> Right. Now, um, with Hannah Rocks, you were based in London, and then when you split, you moved to New York. Um, why didn't you move to L.A. as so many other American or Because so many other Americans. <laughs> I couldn't live in L.A. First of all, it's sun all year round, and this tends to rot the brain, you know. Mm. People are very superficial there. It's very materialistic, you know. Everybody's into cars and bikes and mansions and everyone wants a record deal and want to get rich and get laid and you know so i didn't get into the business because of those reasons you know i'm, I'm a musician i enjoy what i do I, I love what i'm doing and if i can do this and still have a roof over my head i'm happy you know is there also such a big rock scene in new york no there isn't actually very much of a rock scene at all uh but uh but i like the energy in new york it just keeps you going and and it's like you know, it's you just you, you're in touch with reality there. You see all the homeless people and all the crack wackos and junkies, and you know the state we're in. Really, you know, you can never really get away from that. And obviously, it gets heavy after a while. It's nice to get away from the city now and then, but you know, I like to live there. You know, the real people are. It inspires me in the songs. You know, mm -hmm. I like to reflect the reality of things and shove it in people's face. <laughs> More in your face comments from Mike next week, but don't expect to see a hint of anything glam in this Monday's Viewers Metal Collection. Who look as if they've taken makeup lessons from Mike Monroe, which leads us nicely to our last installment from Mr. Monroe himself. He explained to us how he's not faking it with his solo album. Well, you know, I was just wanted to say first too that I didn't compromise making this album. It's, it's real and it's honest and it's basically that's why I call it not faking it because also, that there's a lot of so many people out there now just posing and acting, trying to act like rock stars, and they don't have very much substance. Um, I I made it, you know, my own terms, and it's real, and it, it sounds like a band. You know, it's a solo. I never wanted to do a solo thing. I wanted to be in a band, you know. But now I was helpless in left solo because no, you can't recreate a band like Henry Rocks. True, there'll never be another Hanoi Rocks and there may never be another Led Zeppelin either. But